Hi, um, I'm going to teach you how to make a brochure in 10 minutes using Word 2010. And I just provide you some ideas how to make it and you could think about it for Word 2007 as well. So the easiest way is just to use uh, the templates provided by Microsoft. Go to File, New, Brochures. And then you will see a lot of preset brochures. And you could just ch change some of it. And now I just select one. All elements are ready there. You, what you need to do is just to change all the elements. So a template will look like this. There are two pages. One is the front. The second page is the back. So this is a free fold uh, brochure. Now I'm going to do the brochure manually. First, I change the layout orientation to landscape. Then expand the margin a little. And I'm going to, let's see. So brochure is like building blocks. So I insert some shape. Typically it would be a rectangle. Typically after you insert the rectangle, there are a lot of uh, preset choice. So just randomly pick one, use some shape fillings, I like this, and I don't like the outline, although they have, it provides a lot of choice, and I like some effects, like mm, reflection, like inner reflection. So I, I don't like this quite much, so I would like to configure them a little. See, there are a lot of choice to configure it. Let's see. Let's let's use shadow. I just trick it. You that much. Um Okay, this looks good. Then I need to add some test in the box. It ha it has you you could change t text direction and the text alignment. So I just simply write something make the word larger and delete the spacing and I'm going to put some fake test X can't you see yeah here it is so when I modify the blocks it the test would also follows will automatically adjust. So here is the magic. Now here I would edit this block as some just edit the words from this block. And then, yeah, change the alignment. And I also like to add a picture. Okay, 
it will automatically adjust for me. Cool. Then I'll add another test. Okay, now one block is finished. So I just copy paste block because it's preset, I want them to be consistent. And I'm going to fill the test as well. And then I add some test. Change the color. Now, you see, two blocks is finished. Then the middle part I like to be white and just test some pictures. So, I'm gonna add a test box. I draw a test box and then also give some free test. So I would like to insert a picture. Here is the tricky part. If I just insert the picture, it goes into that uh, test box, and I don't like it. And I would prefer them to be out of the test box. Oh. I resize a little bit. So what I could do is to change your wrap test to top Let's see in front of test. Okay, then I move it here. Okay, now it is not in the test box. It doesn't So I change the test box move it a little like here. And I don't like the frame of the test box, so I use out format line color, no line. Okay, thank you. Perfect. And then I'm going to add another trick so add some decoration what's not about us let's input this I use first I want I use a format painter so it looks like this way okay then I just randomly add some test. So I would like some decoration. So we could also like use some shape. Use your imagination. I uh, use a line. And I could configure the line. Make it bolder make it like dotted line and change the line color to white okay now you see how now you see it's better so I copy this line and 
use control C control V okay and put it down there so you can have some decoration on it so just use your imagination to make the line make some decoration for the uh, brochure and then finally I add the test box again move it down there and change text alignment okay so the first page is finished so you could do, uh, do the second page yourself so it's very quick and easy and it give, give you a very professional look for your brochure thank you for watching